Face Off is a new track from Tech 9 featuring The Rock and King Iso and Joey Cool. And it's the ultimate workout song. What you reviewing? What you what you what you what you, what you, what you reviewing? What you what you reviewing? At least that's how it's being pitched. How well does it accomplish it? I'd say pretty well. There's a very clear structure of buildup across the track, starting with Tech 9 sort of getting you warmed and, you know, hitting you with the fast flows that he's known for. He's not necessarily making any sort of complex statements with his verses, more so setting up the imagery of fighting, you know, uh, getting really physical, working out, anything, beating your opponents, whatever you need this to be, whether it be the backdrop to uh, a, a bunch of anime fight scenes put together, or you hitting a punching bag or running on a treadmill or getting into, you know, hype for a UFC match, whatever kind of cool fighting atmosphere you need this song is trying to give you that so all of that is kind of a pastiche built up through tech nine's verse before you go into joey cool and this is where we start to get a little bit more conceptual where he's sort of referencing more than just imagery that is like directly violent or directly confrontational or combative and more uh and stuff that is more conceptually so. He's comparing himself to civil rights leaders and stuff like that in the amount of impact that he's going to have with his blows. So through his verse and through parts of King Iso's verse, you start to have this more emotional side put into the song that like, if you have something more personal that maybe you're trying to work through through this combat, or even if the song is just itself, how you're combating something more emotional, there's that element to it as well. So, you know, all kinds of different types of battles are being fought over the course of this song. And they just keep picking up in speed and power as they go. Tech Nine is, of course, doing his chopper flow. He sounds like a machine gun. And then Joey Cool has more of that, like, high concept, more erratic flow that you might see for someone like a Kendrick or J.I.D. Whereas King Iso is more in the, like, Twista, Busta Rhymes category of just, like, super fast and it just sounds like a bunch of punches hitting you in the face over and over again. Before, finally, we get to The Rock. And while The Rock is not spitting as fast as everyone else, he's really bringing the grit to his voice. He sounds as big as The Rock. And, of course, you know it's The Rock, listening to the song so you have to picture him doing it and if you watch the music video for this song you'll see that the build-up is also in just the size of the performers uh each guy is just a bigger dude than the last until you've got the rock the biggest dude of all just uh you know destroying his way across the track and if you're in the gym trying to push yourself to the limit there's no mental image you want in your head more than that of the rock so it makes perfect sense to put him at the back end of an ultimate workout track. The Rock even declares one take at the end of his verse. And I have to say, it, to me, I understand why there are some rappers who might be like upset with him for saying that as somebody who you know hasn't necessarily been in the rap game for as long as uh, other people have. But I really think that if you're going to do a song like this where the point is to pack as much self-gratifying power into it as possible, ending it that way just makes perfect sense. If it makes everyone else mad that you did it, that's all the more reason for it to be the ending of your fight song. So I think it was a perfect move. I think that the song is fun. The chorus is memorable from Chris Calico. I definitely got it stuck in my head after listening to the song just a couple times. So... Yeah, if you need a new workout song to enter your rotation, hard to go wrong with this. My name is Trixie the Golden Witch, and here on the Branches of Yig channel, we have all kinds of music-related content from reviews to interviews with artists to my own musical output and that of my producer and collaborator, Vizier, who edits these videos. Um, I guess there's nothing really... Oh yeah, I have to say the music thing. And don't forget, music is power! <laughs> What you reviewing? What you what you what you what you reviewing? What you what you reviewing?